tonight. Um, this is going to be a quick video just uh, going over the Esri districting extension. Um, so after you've installed it, you have to go up to customize and actually enable it. So you go to extensions and click districting. Click close. Um, and now you have to uh, go up and actually open the toolbar itself. So if you go to toolbars, uh, click the districting extension here. And uh, mine popped up here. It will pop in, pop in as a window like this. Uh, I like to just go ahead and drag it, uh, drag it up here where it's easier to work with. Um, and now you need to go and grab your data. So, um, well, actually no. So, <laughs> don't grab your data first. You go to Districting Admin and click Create New Plan. Um, and if you don't have a plan or you know sort of a space set up already, then uh, click create a uh, new plan workspace and you'll, you'll probably do this every time this is sort of how how I do it I, I don't usually select from up here um, and then you want to save it somewhere so right now I'm going to save it uh, just as a in a test folder so we have class example and I'm going to name uh, this geodatabase class example and then name that the plan. You can, you know, name it whatever you like um, and then click Next. Uh, now you'll get to this screen and you'll want to go ahead and click Source Geography Contains Attribute Data. Um, you'll get this warning, just click OK, it doesn't mean anything. Um, and now you, need, now you need to add your data. See, so when you click Add New, um, you will uh, get this pop-up window and Depending on what the data is stored in, uh, will will determine what you choose here. Uh, I believe I have converted all of the files to shape files, so you should just click on shape file, uh, and then go hunt for whatever um, state you're interested in using. So if we go to the class data folder, uh, this is where I have all the data set up for y'all, um, and we're just going to keep working with North Carolina because that's what uh, we've looked at a lot of. Um, in this case, you'll see a VTD. Uh, you'll see two folders. Um, these are the same files. The, the variable names have just changed a little bit. So like if you go into Maryland, it's just uh, just this. So we're going to go into North Carolina and select that. Um, we're going to, you know, source geography name. This is just going to be like NC VTD file or something like that. Um, and here you want to select either object ID VTD or VTD key, just something that is going to be um, an ID variable. Um, safe bets always to choose VTD. Um, and so this is NC VTD file with complete data. Uh, you can just sort of give it whatever description you would like. Um, and now here is the important part. Um, for the universal field, um, you want to go ahead and choose TOT, which is a total population. Um, most of the data sets are going to use the same naming scheme. So in this case, it's going to be tote uh, or, you know, tote pop or pop tote or whatever you're going to, whatever uh, your data looks like. You just make sure to take a look at the readme file or the, the code book um, if you're unsure. Um, and what this is going to be, this universal field, is just giving us a, a total um, I'm pretty sure, you know, don't hold me to this, but I think always total population is going to be here. And then depending on what we are trying to optimize after that, we are going to select this, uh, select a different one. So if we were uh, wanted rate, wanted to optimize race uh, equally, or in this case, this is a bunch of election data, so uh, or registration data, we could go and say maybe we want to optimize presidential vote and uh, we want you know, there to be an equal number of Democrats and Republicans in, in every district or something like that, uh, that would be our optimal value. Uh, but for now, we are only concerned with just making equal population districts. Um, and, uh, you know, that'll change in the future. But for now, just go ahead and click Toad again. So these will be the same and click OK. OK, and now your, th uh, your sort of setup file will show up here and you can just go ahead and click Next. Um, and you can sort of change this. So, you know, in uh, Wisconsin, they're called wards. Uh, most everywhere else, they're called districts. So we're going to call them districts. 
Um, and we have 12 districts in North Carolina. Um, so whatever state you're working on, uh, just pick the number of districts that it would normally have. Click Next. And this will tell us our optimal value. So this is going to be, uh, you know, essentially take the total population of the state divided by 12, and this is what you get. Um, and so this is sort of what uh, dis the districting extension is going to uh, optimize us on, or you know. Um, and now this will this will come in handy later. Um, this is gonna ha this is how we're gonna you know um, summarize different subcategories within our districts. Um, and so we could select any of these, and uh, it would sort of add a sum past that. Uh, but we're not gonna do that for now. Just go ahead and click finish, and this will go ahead and create a uh, plan for us. So go ahead and close that. And you'll be greeted with this screen. So this is a uh, map of North Carolina. There's no districts on it yet. Um, and so what we can start doing um, and is start drawing. So uh, you sort of go up and figure out which district you want to start drawing first. Um, so we could draw District 1 first. Um, and to actually start doing this, this is the button we want to use, but it's grayed out right now. So make sure you go click Start Editing. And now we can start selecting. Um, and you'll notice uh, that we don't really have any statistics up. Uh, so <laughs> we don't really, we're sort of just going blind, right? Um, or, or flying blind. And what we want to do is actually go up and activate our statistics windows here. Um, and these will generally pop up usually here on the left side of the screen. Uh, again, I find that annoying. And so I pop them over here um, where I find them to be more usable um, or useful. Um, and so now we can see the selection I've made is uh, 462,000. Um, and that is 331,000. Uh, below our optimal value, so uh, this is sort of te this this will sort of live update as you draw around. So um, as I can sort of select here, okay, I've gone over. This is a million people. Okay, let's try this maybe. Okay, I've gone over again. All right, so you could do that over and over again, or you could do it incrementally. So like here, I've selected that's uh, six hundred and twenty-seven thousand, and then you can just you can right click and click Assign Selection. And what that will do is it will lock in our District 1. Um, and now you can, you can sort of select this overlap. And so now, even though these overlap, it's only going to add to this. Um, so click Assign, and you'll see it extends it. And now we're getting pretty close. We're 44,000 away. So we're going to select Little Ones. OK, that, that brought us over too much. Um, and so now you can see we're we're about 5,000 short, and so we can just sort of keep selecting these precincts. And, oh, that's a big one, so it popped us over. That popped us over. Over. Aha! That is only over by 100. That's pretty close. So uh, we can go ahead and lock in our District 1 there. Um, and now what we can do is now we would probably want to draw maybe District 2 along this line. I don't know. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Um, and so you can go up and you can use different tools here. So I'm going to draw a polygon. <laughs> and so what I'm doing here is I'm just clicking. Oh, no. Uh, to try to get all of these along the border here. Uh, and even all the way oh i've 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 messed it up okay <laughs> um I actually don't know how to get out of this so all right now I just have this messy thing. Okay, so now <laughs> we've finally gotten off of that, uh, but we can we can try that again. Um, or we, we could also draw a line. I think a line might actually be 
more useful for us. So this should select everything that this line touches, sort of like, uh, you know, whatever Simba's dad says, uh, you know, whatever the line touches is yours. You know, so I think that's what he said. Um, and now we've selected along this, uh, along here, and so we can assign that to uh, District Two. And so now we can we can be a little more we can be a little less discriminating uh, as we just sort of can select here, um, and we can keep assigning like this. So as you can see, um, so now this bl the blue is our highlighted one here too. So um, I'm finding it really difficult to see this color um, actually. So you can, I think you can go over here and change these. Maybe I have to stop editing. So I'll click Save Edits, and that'll that'll lock you in. Um, let's see. So I'm just here in Symbology. Uh, you know, we've been here we've been here a lot um, in the past, and I really don't like this really hard to see so I think we already have sort of a dark green here um, I don't really have a red so let's go with a red it seems it seems good we have a light red maybe okay why didn't that why didn't that work yeah, okay it did it just didn't update so now you know, now we can sort of tell the difference between between these two. This isn't great, but it, it's sort of it's it's mostly for your benefit, so that you can actually tell the difference between your your districts. Um, but so then, you know, you just sort of keep keep drawing. Um, and in this case, if you're doing twelve, um, you're going to sit here and just keep keep clicking away. So you know, so let's say we got over here to the east coast, and uh, could go ahead and draw. Draw some districts like this. Oh, whoops! I think <laughs> I think I messed that up on accident. Um, maybe this is a good example for the polygon if we're interested in. So we're sort of interested in selecting down this coastal part of North Carolina because maybe this is like a, a community of interest. You know, if you have. Uh, you you all share the coast. You might you might have uh, some shared interests here. So maybe we want District Twelve to sort of just be the coastal district, or we could break it into two, or you know, sort of whatever. Um, and you're just going to keep keep going going on like this. Um, I mean, if you're still watching this, I guess you you can stop and go start doing it yourself. Um, but because this is this is it. This is essentially all you're going to do for the first one. Um, and then obviously as we continue to do this, we're going to pay attention not only to total population, but also to, uh, you know, so next week, political uh, information, uh, the number of Democrats or Republicans in a district or the number of uh, votes that, that uh, the Republicans or Democrats uh, got in your district. And later we'll, we'll look at race as well. So th those will also come, in, come into play as we, we start doing this. Um, but that's sort of it. Um, I, you know, good luck, keep going, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now.